So Pax may not have the level of cosplay that Comic-Con does, but that doesn't make it any less impressive. Travis had no need for cosplay. He was already wearing the clothes of a hero of men. See, I thought this line was kind of cheesy, but Travis seemed to like it, and you know, I wanted to make him happy, so I kept it in, man. Still, not gonna lie, watching it now kind of makes me cringe. What's that? What's what? Okay, now, right here, this is a callback to the first bit. That, that right there. Oh, that? That's Kevin Smith. I got him to do the director's commentary for this episode. Holy sh**, man, this is where things get really meta. Did, did Kevin Smith direct this episode? I don't know. He's doing the commentary, though. It's crazy, man, because they're reacting to the commentary, but technically, I'm commenting on the show after the fact. Isn't that weird? Mind blown, man. Mind blown. Travis was impressed that Leaf knew Kevin Smith and that he was able to one-up Travis with a celebrity cameo. Hey, you're a celebrity. I am not. Easter egg for this episode. You might notice Travis is finally losing some weight. But hey, Kevin Smith. I told him you're about one crawler away from a heart attack, man, and I should know. I don't know if anybody knows this, but I had a heart attack a few years back. It was true. Travis did have an unhealthy donut habit. Hey, Eric Summer. The one person who really shines in this bit, however, is Eric. Now he's awesome, man. Hey, Hollywood, it's Eric calling. Get me some work, I rock. That's, that's my Eric, I've been working on it for a little while. Travis, on the other hand, is just overacting as usual. Okay, you know what, we're done. Uh, you can leave, Eric. Do I still get paid for the rest of the week? Eric totally got paid. Thanks, Kevin Smith. It's so adorable when they talk to me because I'm just an element of post-production. But look at them. They want it to be real. Thank you, Kevin Smith. Did you know that Leaf killed Uncle Ben in the first Andrew Garfield Spider-Man movie? I just found this out. How crazy is that? Yeah. Can we get back to the cosplay now? Sure. Well, kids, that about wraps up my commentary gig, man. However, I would like to say before I get out of here... Jay and Silent Bob .com, man, for all your Kevin Smith and Jay and Silent Bob type needs. Or if you're in New Jersey, come see me at Smod Castle Cinemas, man. I own a movie theater. How adorable is that? I live upstairs. It's like a cobbler living in a giant shoe. It's so sweet. Come see the movies, and I, I'll come out and talk before movies I even make. Uh, that's because I love commentary. I like I like the sound of my own voice. I hope you, you, you did as well. All right, that's Clearly, I have a hard time wrapping things up, kids. I just, I, that's how much I like the sound of my own voice. I'm like, this show's just getting interesting. Like, don't Carol Burnett it. Don't tug your ear and get out of here. It's an old reference, kids. It means the show's over. Um, be careful out there. And believe in yourselves. I always find it's best to impart some wisdom before we get out of any situation, just in case. You know, you never, every comic is some kid's first comic, as Stan Lee once said. So, you know, every episode of Above Board is is probably somebody's first episode. So while I've got your attention and you just had a good time and like, ah, oh, I feel satisfied, man. It was, it was it was it was the perfect length. Now I got other things to do with my life. Before you get out of here, just remember, like you know, there was a time in this country when the term snowflake was special. So I'm gonna I'm taking it back. You are snowflake. That's how individual you are. Doesn't make you soft. It's strong, powerful, and arty. So make sure you uh, sing your own song in this life before you, before you leave this best of all possible worlds. I talk like this because I'm 53, and death is closer than it's ever been before. There's less time in front of me than behind me, so I feel like I desperately have to get out this wisdom before suddenly I kick it, man. And people are just like, you know, they, they'll forget you in a day in this life now. Time was like, you know, a celebrity, I'm not saying I'm a celebrity, others say it for me, but like when they, when a celebrity died, you know, people take a week off and now you get like two seconds, then another celebrity drops and you're forgotten. So seize the day, make your mark, kids. See the wall right on it before you get out of here. And if you're young, don't, don't, don't obsess about death. That's the domain of the old. That's all I got for you, man. We now return to your regularly scheduled program. <laughs> Long. <laughs>